they claim Torah observance hurts the reputation of those who keep the Torah out of love for God and our neighbor. They are not genuine believers. They don't really keep the Torah. The Torah is based on loving others and loving Yahweh, really exposing them as frauds. Before we move forward, it's important to clarify that black Hebrew Israelites have no connection historically or theologically with Ethiopian Jews. It's important to clarify that black Hebrew Israelites have no connection historically or theologically with Ethiopian Jews. Who are legitimate Jews? Who are legitimate Jews? Who are legitimate Jews? Who are legitimate Jews? Do Black Lives Matter in Israel? If you ask some of the Ethiopian Jews who are citizens of the state, it doesn't feel that way. They've taken to the streets over the past several weeks to protest police brutality and racism in Israeli society. But back to the Ethiopians. These waves of protests were ignited in April after a video went viral of police violently beating an Israeli soldier of Ethiopian descent. And as Israel-based journalist and filmmaker David Sheen told me, that struck a chord with many. Pretty much every single Ethiopian Jewish man in this country can speak to that experience. Either he's experienced it personally, or his brother, or his uncle, or his friends have been uh, the victims of police brutality. So what should you know about the Ethiopian Jewish community in Israel? Today, at least 135,000 Ethiopian Jews live in the country, which is approximately 2% of the population. Many of them arrived after Israel airlifted them out during the years of the famine in the 1980s and 90s. Before that, thousands of Ethiopians tried to reach Israel by land, many dying on the journey. But today, despite the fact that these black Jews of Israel are citizens of the state, which entitles them to equal protection under Israeli law, and despite the fact that they serve in the Israeli army and speak fluent Hebrew, they have long been the victims of systemic discrimination. Just how bad is it? Obviously, being the darkest hued Jews in the country, they face color-based discrimination that's not unlike in the United States and other parts of the world. The Ethiopian community has not been allowed to access to housing all over the country. They were sent to certain communities and other communities refused them. They were sent to certain schools and other schools refused them. We move forward. It's important to clarify that black Hebrew Israelites have no connection historically or theologically with Ethiopian Jews. Who are legitimate Jews? We were born here, we were raised here, we got the education here. So we know our rights, we know what we want, until we won't see a result, but true result and a long-term result, we won't stop. What is the government doing? Well, Prime Minister Netanyahu met with the Ethiopian Israeli soldier who was beaten by police and told him, <laughs> Netanyahu repeated that sentiment at an annual memorial for the 4,000 Ethiopian Jews who died on their way to Israel years ago, saying there is no place for racism and discrimination in our society. He's also set up a ministerial committee to eradicate racism. But is that enough? There is no place for racism and discrimination in our society. He's also set up a ministerial committee to eradicate racism. But is that enough? Many black Jews believe that change will only come with a change of consciousness among Israelis as a whole. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rukha Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom La Bukwaimness to the elect. I want to touch on a video, okay, with uh, I saw this clip with the, um, Ethi the so called Ethiopian Jews. Falashian Jews, false Jews, whatever you want to call them. Okay, and um, I remember the clip of a video I did prior of this guy from 119 Ministries, and that's why I kept putting that, uh, replaying that clip when they said that um, the uh, Kushites, or the, let's say the Ethiopian Jews, were the original or legitimate Jews. Okay, so even in the legitimacy of this guy's, this Edomite's mind, he still he still can't uh, uh, admit the racist uh, behavior of Esau, or that the fact that it doesn't matter at the end of the day, Esau still behaves the same way. Doesn't matter the fact that uh, and some of our people are mixed amongst those Ethiopian Jews. Okay, which proves that you're not going to escape that curse that the Most High put on us. Okay.
Some of some of our people still are obtaining them same curses today. In fact, the whole world is under a curse until this man is brought down, man. Okay? So, again, the whole point was um, these Ethiopian Jews are seeing the same thing Jake's seen, but on a much lighter type level, a less severe level, so to speak. Not like we experienced. But they're still catching hell. They're getting their asses beat because of the color of their skin. So, wait a minute. I thought the, uh, they understood... Um, they, well, this proves that the Jews or the scriptures were really so-called black people, okay? Inadvertently, it's proven that because a lot of these Jews, so-called Jews, don't have the um, uh, kingdom, uh, is not going to inherit the kingdom either. That's why the scripture says, I believe in Zechariah, ye Ethiopians, you shall also be slain by my sword, okay? So, this is also proven that they're not the real Jews, but this this setup was set up by the Most High to be a sore thumb in Esau. Okay, a sore, let's say a, a thorn in Esau's foot. And a hypocrite to the rest of the Edomites who claim that the uh, Ethiopian Jews are the legitimate Jews. And if they are the so-called leg legitimate Jews, why is Esau still treating them the same way that we were being treated? It proves that the uh, Israelites, okay, the Israelites of the Bible, and they understand it. That's why they're so pissed off. They understand that the Israelites of the scriptures were so-called black. And in their mind, it's reminding them of us, especially us uh, out on the street corners every week, week in and week out, and other Israelite groups. I'll say it's Great Millstone, but other Israelite groups are out giving, giving this man hell, Okay. And these Ethiopian Jews is another reminder of what hell well, um, we're putting on Esau. The word of the Lord is sharper than any two-edged sword, okay? Now, I remember here, I believe Jesus is the words. I could be wrong. Jesus is the word saying uh, they was all speaking of the Ethiopian Jews being the true Jews because they're meek and humble and they're, they're so-called loving Pretty much their slaves. They were brought there to help build up Israel and help their army and their military. Nobody's telling you that. Anyway, okay. I just wanted to do a, a, a quick point on that. This is Psalm 73 and 8, okay? Uh, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. Now, you had this president shake the Ethiopian hand and said, well, there's no place of racism in our society. They've been saying the same thing here in America for hundreds of years, okay? Well, I ain't going to say hundreds of years, but for a good portion of amount of time, all these presidents were set up saying the same thing. When a so-called civil rights movement happened back in the 60s, 50s, then all of a sudden, there's no place for this kind of behavior, no time for this tolerance. But meanwhile, cops are blowing Jake away and they still get off of a slap on the wrist, suspended with pay, but they're not tolerating it. But this is your Christian-based society, and these are the people, our people that stand in line and, and, and two block long line and vote for the next president, for the next senator, for the next whoever who's going to feed them a more and more crock of madness, okay? This is what they do. Uh, we look up to this word uh, lawfully concerning oppression, okay? Lofty. Lofty. Okay, lofty, okay, means elevated in character and spirit, okay, to be noble, elevated in status, okay? Having a hearty, overbearing manner, okay? Um... Rising great. And this is Esau. Esau, this describes Esau. Esau is lofty. Okay? Now, when we get into the kingdom, guess what? The elect, the kings of the new kings of the earth are going to be a, have a form of loftiness, righteous loftiness. Okay? Elevated in status, superior. Elevated in character, a spirit of nobility. Rising to a great height. Okay? So this proves... The marching that these uh, Ethiopians are doing, they're marching, they're, they're swaying side to side, they're holding hands, 
They're doing the same song and dance Jake do here in America. But what these people don't understand is Esau is performed on the left hand side. Okay, he's speaking the, the, the uh, on the left hand side of spirituality. That's how he got you, Jake, in the trick bag, and you can't understand why you can't get out because when you know this devil, he ha he owns the money, and through that money, he can set up many organizations or uh, front organizations to make it seem like they're fighting racism, but in behind the scenes, they're still continually oppressing you because they have the money to front. These uh, organizations, okay, and all these um, so-called businesses and organizations to help keep you sleep or keep you believing that you're going to uh, make it out of this oppression, okay? It's all built around hope, okay? Now, us as uh, Israelites, we're trying to uh, have hope that we get out of this place, and that's why we call it hope, okay? The hopeful the hopeful elect. That's why we say the hopeful elect. Okay, let's go to Sirach 12. Okay, and um, um, let's go to 12 and looks like 8 or 9. Let's go 6, 12 and 6. For the most high hate of sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Okay, and that's what is, is eventually going to happen to Esau, man. Okay, he stole the land, number one, kicked out the Palestinians, number two, stole the world in general. Okay, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He stole everything, okay? And somehow people just does, do not agree that these people have to get paid back as a nation. Now remember that all the hell we went through as a nation, as a whole bodied nation, Nobody was willing to step up and say, hey, there were some good ones of you. See, that's what Christianity does, man. Christianity does exactly, you know, if Christianity moved to Israel, which is there, to the Ethiopian community, Jewish community, which they have never form of Christians. <laughs> that's all of y'all. And this is why they're doing the same thing that the Christians do here in America. The same Christian Negroes the Christian Negroes here in America do. Walk down the street, march, protest. They're not waiting on a deliverer. They're not waiting on Yahweh Shah. Okay? And and they only supposed to they supposed to be dealing with the Torah. Okay? A lot of them dealing with the Talmud. And guess what? You know you know these uh heathens, other nations. They're going to mingle with the rest of the nations. They're going to do the same thing the other nations do. Okay? They'll be reading out the Talmud too. You know? If they ain't already. Okay? Um, goes on to say, uh, let's go to verse 9. In the prosperity of, um, in, in the prosperity of a man, a man's uh, enemies will be grieved but in the adversary uh, uh, adversity, even a friend will depart, okay? And, you know, we're going to have, you know, in these last days, when all this hell break loose, okay? You know, you, you ain't going to have everybody agreeing on the same thing, okay? You're going to have these, these, uh, these demons turning on one another, you know? Even in our, and I'm speaking of the Israelites, you know, that's joining hand with Esau. They ain't going to turn on you, Esau. I mean, okay. I mean, on you, Jakes. It says, never trust thine enemy to like, uh, as, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. You know, like iron, when it rusts, it continues to grow. It's, it's like a canker. It, it, it uh, travels. If you don't clean out the rust, the rest, the, uh, the rest of the um, body of, of the metal material will rust as well. Okay, that's another form of the way the Most High set up things to break down. Okay, this is why these metals will break down. So you're not, you're not supposed to trust, his, uh, trust your enemy. Though he uh, humble himself and go um, crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Okay, and thou shalt 
be unto him as if thou has wiped a looking glass. Okay. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Okay. So they'll set it up and they'll hold hands and they'll shake hands and make it seem like they love you and they care for you. Uh, uh, racism will not be tolerated. <laughs> But it's the same old song and dance, and they, these people can expect the same thing, okay? These people can set uh, the same thing, man. So I just wanted to point out uh, that at the end of the day, these, uh, you know, uh, these uh, Kushites, these uh, Ethiopians, they have no they they have no idea what the hell they in store for, man. Okay. And they're another nation than us. And, and you know, a lot of these um, Jewish people, these uh, other nations, they know that uh, we're not the same people. A lot of them know that. It's just our people don't. Our people think that we're all black and African. You know? They don't understand that. And I even heard vocab say that we were Kushite Gentiles. Okay? So if that's the case, what the hell is happening here, man? Are they not still going through bullshit? So if we, if they're the, if we're the Kushite Gentiles and we are them, let's say that, which it, it sickens me to say that, but some of our people are sprinkled amongst them. But if that's the case, what's the excuse now for the top racism, even in the so-called Jewish community? What's the excuse now? I like to hear that. That's all I have on that, Shalom.